Um, well, welcome everyone that has joined us already and joined us early. Welcome, Amy. Always a pleasure to, to spend time with you. Um, we are kicking off our, uh, I can't remember if this is our third or our fourth Clean Beauty Masterclass, but very excited for this one. I'm excited for all of them, but especially this one. We'll be talking about all things lips. We'll be talking about our new innovation, our Hydro Pure Hyaluronic Lip Gloss. Um, we have a bunch of questions that people submitted and we're going to have a lot of fun. Um, but before we jump into that, just to introduce ourselves, my name is Katie Callahan. I'm Jane's digital and social media manager. Um, anything you see on social or maybe on our blog has kind of come my way. And um, very happy to be here tonight with one of my favorite people, Miss Amy Mallon. Oh, well, hello, Katie. The feeling is mutual. We're so lucky to have you on board, and I love spending time with you. <laughs> um, as Katie said, I'm the Director of Artistry and Education here at the brand. So uh, what that means is essentially I'm a makeup artist, I'm an oncology certified esthetician, and have been with the brand now for about two years, and I manage all of our education and artistry programs, so our education team, and then anything that you see having to do with makeup. So I'm very lucky. I have a really fun job. <laughs> yes. And her, her biggest job of all is uh, putting up with my thousands of questions a day. So, and all Absolutely. of my content requests. Ask away. <laughs> yes. Rapid fire. And Exactly. And so with that, if you do have any questions throughout our time together, sounds a bit strange throughout our time together this evening, um, feel free to use the Q&A feature on Zoom. If you're more comfortable in the chat box, we'll be kind of going back and forth in there. Um, as I mentioned, we'll be talking through our new innovation, which I'm so excited about. Um, and then we'll be going over some of the questions that um, guests have already submitted ahead of time. So should be a fun kind of quick evening and don't be shy. Let us know what you uh, have questions about in terms of lips, lip products, all that good stuff. And um, let's go ahead and jump in. All right. So Woo. we're here today really to talk about lips, um, but we really want to focus on our newest innovation, as Katie said, which is our Hydra Pure Hyaluronic Lip Gloss. And I have to say, you guys, so it's been a really interesting couple of years for lips with uh, COVID and mask wearing. Uh, and this really is kind of a perfect time to, without, you know, sounding too cheesy, bring our lips back forward. Yes. And this is a product that literally does that. Um, so not only is this a gloss, it's also um, kind of what I like to call the complete lip trifecta in one. And what I mean by that is from an ingredient profile standpoint, we have ingredients in here like lactic acid, which is a very gentle, nourishing exfoliant that's going to delicately remove any excess skin or debris around the lips. Um, we have a collagen stimulating peptide um, called pomatoyl tripeptide 3. Please don't remember that, but essentially to help Couldn't increase, have tried. <laughs> increase the volume to the lips. Yeah. Um, hyaluronic acid, of course, hyaluronic is one of those ingredients that people are really familiar with and not a lot of people know what it does. So hyaluronic is actually fascinating. It's something that naturally exists in our bodies. It's what makes up all of your connective tissue, your eyeballs, your joints, you name it. And we also have a significant amount in the different layers of our skin that unfortunately, like everything else as we age, depletes at a percentage of about 1% per year after age 25. That's um, for age kind 30. of a bummer figure, I, I feel like. It is. Unfortunately, that happens with a lot of the nutrients yeah. in our skin and body. And that's why we need to apply them topically. We need to take some of them internally to help really replenish our supply. So hyaluronic acid, one of the best hydrating and plumping ingredients out there. It can hold a thousand times its weight in water. So it actually um, draws in moisture from the air and holds it on the surface of our skin with an occlusive barrier. And then in addition to that, and then I promise we'll get onto the fun part. We have to do the ingredients first. <laughs> it's <laughs> when all I fun. I actually was just thinking, I was having like a flashback to chemistry classes as you were talking. So <laughs> I'm just thinking back on that. <laughs> Every day of my life, Katie. <laughs> yep, exactly, exactly. Our mad chemist. <laughs> yeah. In addition to that, we have ingredients like 
avocado oil in here, um, mango seed, um, shea butter. So it's just a really yummy ingredient deck. And on the, the note of yummy, it also has a very light, yes. nice uh, vanilla taste and scent to it as well. Mm -hmm. So the other thing I love about this, it's a non-sticky gloss. Yes. So we actually, and Katie can attest to this, we had a member of our team who put it up to what she called the leaf blower test. So I love this. I know this time of year, obviously we're all outside, the wind is blowing, the leaves are falling. And um, one of our colleagues actually put it to the test. It was nonstick, even with her long hair. So um, that's really exciting. It almost has like a balmy or a pillowy texture to it, which is really exactly. nice. And all of them are quite sheer. So this is Blossom, for example. This is one of the most I thought that was. Ah. Yep. And um, as you can see, you know, it has a really nice color payoff, but it's not too intense. So this actually comes in 13 different shades. You can really find the one that works best for you. I'm not as good at that as you are. I still need to practice the, the swatching, but this is very red, which I love this one. I think this is so pretty for the holidays. That one is stunning. And it's a great way of wearing a red that's not too intrusive or invasive. Yes. You know, it's just a really pretty light red. Exactly. Um, so the other thing is, if you're not great at applying a lip gloss, this is the product for you. It has what we call a flexible applicator that bends so nicely and lays down just the perfect amount of product on the lips. And obviously, so when we were developing this product, Molly, who's our VP of Global Marketing, she does all of our product development, shared with me that one of the goals for this product was so that it would pass the purse test. And so it was also really important that it look beautiful. So we have this really nice, luxurious yeah. uh, component here with this great soft matte gold top mm -hmm. that just looks beautiful in your bag. Yeah, it does. It just sort of looks like a little gem. I you know, it feels nice. It feels luxe. Um, I think they look really nice on your vanity, too, when you kind of have like a, a little collection. So absolutely do. You know. Was there anything I missed, Katie? I don't think so. I, I feel like I learned a little bit in there as, as well, but I think that one of the main things that I'm most intrigued by this, by, by this product is the hyaluronic acid. And, um, cause I know I get really dry lips and I know we'll, we'll jump into that a little bit, but it really, I love wearing this. I even wear it when I go to bed, I'll put the sheer shade on and I wake up and my lips just feel plump and healthy and dare I say juicy. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> Yes, I'm a big fan, but um, we only had one question, new question pop in, and it was about our, our other master classes. But um, let's hop into um, some new questions. All right. And um, although before we do that, I know you mentioned the shades, and I can't hold all of them in my hands, but I can show a couple of them, I think. Here, I'll try, I'll try two. Yeah, exactly. So we do have 13 beautiful shades. Um, so this is six. Yeah, I've got six here as well. And then I wanted to show, I know we've gotten a couple of questions about having a clear gloss and this is the shade Sheer. So you've got that nice option there. If you just want like a little, you know, a little shine um, as you go about your, as you go about your day. Um, but I love the shade range in this. Um, and I just wanted to call that out before we jump into the other lip portion. Thank you. Um, so oh, and, <laughs> and um, Marguerite, the, um, I mentioned the shade. Was it, I think I was talking about berry red. Berry red, and then we berry also red. talked about blossom. So yes. blossom is kind of um, more of a bright pink. Berry red is more of a sheer red. Yes, really lovely. Um, great. So let me just pop into my little uh, note deck here. Let's see. Um, so sort of generally, I think this, this um, is related to our glosses, but also to all of the beautiful Jane Iredale lip products. Um, we got a lot of questions about picking the right shade. So um, I suppose my first question for you, Amy, is how do you pick a lip color? Do you do it based on your undertone? What's your sort of best foolproof tip for something like this? Yeah, so there are a lot of factors to take into consideration. And, um, you know, I think this is a, a masterclass for another day, but I'll give you my short <laughs> answer. So, I'll take notes for the next one. <laughs> yeah, so you, you wanna take into account, first of all, what you're wearing. 
you want to take into account what the rest of your makeup looks like so that there's no competing with that. So for example, if you have a really bright, warm eye on, you may not want to pair it with a super cool lip. Um, you might want to keep it in the same family. Now, with that said, there are a lot of rules when it comes to makeup. And I always tell people when it comes to makeup, there really are no rules. That's um, right. The new frontier is all about having fun and trying what you like, but mm -hmm. those are important things to consider. Also your undertone. So there are three main undertones. There are warm undertones, which is people that you look at them and they look like they have a lot of yellow to their skin or gold. They have more of a warm undertone. Cool undertones. Cool undertones I like to call the, um, the unicorns because they're very rare to find, but they're people who have a true blue or mauve or more of a pink undertone. And then there are people who are in between. So Katie and I actually both fall into that category. Um, <laughs> we're neither cool or, or warm. We're kind of, we're neutral, right? We're mm -hmm. right there in the middle. And so what that means is that we can really wear any lip color. Someone who, you know, has a very yellow undertone to their skin may not want to wear something that's really warm in nature on their lips and vice versa with something cool. Um, so, and what I mean by that is something with more of like a blue undertone for cool. Gotcha. Um, but I have to say when it comes to the Hydro Pure Hyaluronic Lip Glosses, they are all very sheer. So mm -hmm. it's very likely that you'll be able to wear any shade and multiple shades because truthfully, they're gonna look beautiful on all skin tones. On, yes, exactly. And I, I've seen so many different shades wearing them, so many different people wearing them and they're, they are absolutely gorgeous. But um, we actually just got a couple of great questions in. Um, Barbara said, I know it doesn't have SPF. How nicely does it layer over lip drink? Thinking of sheer for this, so sheer lip drink. Yeah. It layers absolutely beautiful. Even if you have a colored lip drink, um, you can absolutely wear any of these on top. Lip drink is a fantastic product because it has an SPF 15 from titanium dioxide. You also have ingredients like lemon extract, which give it just a great taste. You have some carrot seed oil, um, green tea, coffee. I mean, the deck on that is just amazing. So yes. Absolutely. To make a short story long, I love that pairing. I wear it frequently myself on no makeup makeup days uh, because it's just such a gorgeous combo. Love that. Love that. And I, I know we're going to talk about that a little bit toward the end here, but I wanted to kind of chat through SPF right out of the gate. Um, so let me see here. We talked about undertones, choosing the right color of lipstick. Um, so let's talk about seasons a little bit. So how would you suggest um, transitioning your shades or um, your lip products through the season? So we talked about we're coming out of summer, sadly, and we're coming into autumn, which I love. I love autumn. Love the, the leaves and the pumpkins. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so Katie and I are kind of in, well, I was going to say we're in similar clim climates, but maybe not. I am in Denver, Colorado, which is a very arid climate. Katie's in New York. Um, so it's a little bit more humid there, but you still have the cold. What we find is that much like your skincare regimen, your makeup regimen also transitions as the weather gets colder. You're encountering a lot more environmental factors, things like wind, um, you know, like less sunshine. Um, you tend to get a lot of chapping and chafing, unfortunately, during we ever? <laughs> the winter months. So because of that, it's really important to beef up, for uh, lack of a better term, on your emollient ingredients during this time. So you're going to use something that's more hydrating. So, um, you know, just as we were saying, even pairing lip drink with your um, Hydro Pure Hyaluronic yes. Lip Gloss is a great combo. Or if you're someone who typically likes, you know, beyond matte in the winter on your lips, you may want to use um, something that's a little bit more glossy. But the great thing about this lip gloss is that you have the hydration aspect, but it also has those emollients. So it's locking in that moisture and giving you kind of a more long-term plumping and moisturization effect. 
And we love that. Love it. Love it. Uh, so we have a couple more questions pop in. Um, oh, Susan, I, this is one of my favorite products. Uh, so Susan says, I recently bought Aura Glow Time Blush Stick and love it. What lip color would you recommend, recommend that might complement that? Ooh, great question. So Aura is a, a gorgeous color. It certainly falls more on the warm side of things rather than cool, although it is more neutral. Um, so in Hydro Pure, I would recommend, oh, and I don't have it here because it's in my purse, might have it. Um, but our Spice Peach Lip Gloss would be great. Um, or uh, even this guy here, Mocha Latte, which is a new shade for us. It's mm -hmm. a newer iteration of our Iced Mocha. That would be a beautiful pairing. Coming up next um, in the questions. <laughs> yeah. Sangria would be gorgeous as well. And then pairing it even with something like, um, like our terracotta lip pencil or Ellen good. lipstick would be really pretty if you want more of a bold look, maybe with a more minimalistic eye. Um, there's so many different combinations. Actually, Aura itself can be used on the lips and you could even put like a more sheer gloss on top of it. So the possibilities are really endless, but I love that question. That was going to be my suggestion was Aura on the lips with uh, a gloss over the top which I love our, our glow time sticks, but this is, um, this is the shade Spice Peach that Amy mentioned a moment ago. Um, and speaking of iced mocha, we did get a question about, or excuse me, mocha latte. Would you say that's a, a good replacement for um, iced mocha is mocha latte? Yeah, so, so great question. So we have two shades that um, when we transitioned to this new formulation, we kept similar, but we kind of edited them a bit to make them more accessible to everyone and modernize them a little bit. Mm -hmm. And those two shades are Summer Peach and then also um, Mocha Latte. So this is, um, was formerly a uh, uh, soft peach, soft peach. Yep. <laughs> and, um, and iced mocha. And mm -hmm. so what we've done is we've reduced the shimmer, the pearls to them a little bit. Mm -hmm. So they're mm -hmm. um, a little bit less of a frost and a little bit more modern. So yes, absolutely perfect replacement. Yes, and I love mocha latte. I was surprised. I wasn't sure when I first saw it, and when I first got all of these, it was the one I kept trying right right away. Couldn't stop wearing it. So, so hopefully, beautiful. this one will be a hit with with uh, with your with your fans as well. Um, and I love this question from Lynette because it, it's what I do every single day. She said, "Do you ever combine shades of this gloss?" Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. I can't stop doing it, Lynette. Yeah. <laughs> it just feels so nice. I just keep putting more and more on because it feels so good. It really does. It really does. It's so nourishing. And, um, you know, like I said, they're all very sheer. So they combine mm -hmm. well. Um, you can combine them with any of our other products as well, um, which is really exciting. I've even heard of people using um, like Snowberry or Sheer as a highlight shade Ooh. on their cheekbones. So there's a yeah. lot of different functions you can use with these. The nice thing about using a cleaner product is that they're all very multifunction, which is great. Exactly. And you know what? I, I was talking to a makeup artist recently who used this on their eyes. Yeah. Um, and I think on the eyes, around the eyes, that hyaluronic acid, you get the skincare benefit. We love it. Um, oh, and another sort of related spiced peach question uh, mm -hmm. is spiced peach lighter or darker than the new peach colored one? So uh, we have two, we have summer peach. peach. And we have Great spice. question. Yes. So, oh, sorry, Katie. So, so no, please. what we did is we took our pure gloss. If you are all familiar with our pure gloss line, some of you may be, and we kept some of our best selling shades and then we reworked a couple of them. So spice peach actually is, um, was in existence in pure gloss. So it's, it's one that we carried over. It's that really nice melon tone. And then um, Summer Peach is a little bit lighter. So Katie, hold up Spice Peach one more time. Okay, so yeah, see, it's kind of like a deeper melon color. And then Summer Peach is a lighter kind of a shimmer shade. Yes. So, um, but I can see how that could be confusing to you. Totally. Um, and I think, you know, I think they're great together. <laughs> They're great separately. They serve. I, I, just, I can't. I can't speak enough about how wonder wonderful these feel on on the lips. They've kind of replaced my my lip balm obsession. I feel like I just sort of throw this on as I'm 
walking they through have life. A great balmy yeah. feel to them. They feel exactly. cushiony, they feel balmy, and they don't feel sticky or heavy, which is really exactly. nice. Yes, They're which I have always a balm gloss combination. Exactly, exactly. Um, and Susan, I just popped in the chat box a link to find your local Jane Iredale retailer. Um, she said, it, she asked, is there a method to find a makeup artist in your city? Um, so hopefully that'll help if you find your location there and you'll be able to try out all the glosses and, and get some help on uh, finding your, your fave. Um, but let's see here. Oh, we've got another kind of um, product combination question. So Karen asked, um, I recently bought two blushes, Copper Wind and Mocha, great choices. What gloss shades would go well with either with either or both of those? Mm. So Mocha is a little bit more neutral to cool. Copper Wind is certainly a warmer shade. Um, but again, you could really pair any of them. I would say, again, Spice Peach would be beautiful with Copper Wind. I love my Spice Peach or Summer Peach or um, Mocha Latte are kind of going to be your like good go-to warmer shades. Um, <laughs> and then as far as Mocha goes, um, I would say really anything, honestly. Um, Sangria would be beautiful. Mm -hmm. Blossom would be beautiful. Sangria. Uh, pink Glacé would be beautiful. I know we're going to talk about that one in just a bit here. Yes. I left mine over there. I just realized. <laughs> so if you have yours, that's That's great. one of our most popular shades. Um, yeah. Actually, Snowberry is the most popular. It's um, pretty sheer, but has a really nice little bit of shimmer to it. So that would also be a good one to accompany. Yeah. It looks oh, so yeah. pretty, even in the tube, as you look. It's, it's almost cool. celestial, isn't it? Yeah. It is. For the holidays, it's just stunning. Gorgeous. Um, so let's see here. Oh, Lynette uh, asked, do they all have this slight shimmer look? They don't. Some of them are more matte and some of them have a little bit of shimmer to them. So it just kind yeah. of varies depending on the shade. Um, exactly. Tourmaline is a really nice one as well. I think that maybe what Katie was just yes, holding up. Exactly. It's uh, a gorgeous kind of a purple tone that really mm -hmm. makes the lips appear even um, whiter than they typically would be. Yeah, the, the teeth. Yes, I was. <laughs> I do have pale lips, so I, I get that. Um, excellent. Thank you, Yes. Oh, and this is a great question. I feel like we sort of touched on this, but um, Catherine wants to know what color would look good over Just Kissed Forever Red? Really any of them. So if you want to enhance the red, I would go very red on top. If you want to kind of keep that nice sheer quality that the stain has, I would use um, one of the more sheer glosses that we have. So like sheer for example, <laughs> or um, Snowberry would be another one that would be nice to pair with yeah. that if you want to oh, keep it more that in one. that light family. If you want to really bump up that red, you could even use our classic red lip pencil yeah. um, and then Ooh. top it with a little bit of the berry red gloss or even one of our triple lux lipsticks on top of um, Forever Red is my favorite because yeah. if you're going to an event, you want that lip that's gonna last for a long time. You can stain the lips and then you have that great pigment on top of it. Amy, I always just get so excited about wearing makeup whenever I talk to you. I'm like, oh, I should do that. I should try that. So I'm already like, I've got to find an event to, to go to and, and wear all these things or for, you know, my next work Zoom. Um, let's see here. Oh, Lolly, this is a great question. So maybe you, Amy, you can briefly chat on this again. Um, how would you best determine your undertone? Great question. So number one, I know Katie shared this earlier, but visiting your local retailer is a great way to do that. They'll be able to determine it. No problem. Um, the easiest way I think is if you look at your skin and, um, you know, if you see a significant amount of yellow, chances are you have a warm undertone. If you see a lot of red, chances are you're cool. Now this tends to be a little confusing because there are also surface tones that play in here. Yeah. So if you have any kind of like acne or rosacea that can make the skin look red, although you have a different undertone or hyperpigmentation, again, can kind of make that vary a little bit as well. So it's really, um, it's really just about being able to identify uh, your skin's undertones. And then knowing this, that the majority of the global population has warm undertones, it's very rare to find anyone with a cool undertone. So most people look almost yellow. Mm -hmm. And then if you're not sure if you're warm, if you're cool, um, you may be in the neutral family, 
you can't really go wrong with a neutral shade. Sure. So if you find something that looks um, more peachy in a fair tone, that would be in that neutral category. And that's, I always tell people, if warm and cool had a baby, it would be neutral. So that, <laughs> perfect. That, that perfect um, peachy undertone in the middle for, um, again, for fair skin tones. Love that. Um, Deborah, we're going to get to your question in, in a moment about lip liners, because I'm excited to talk through that. But um, I'd love to kind of chat through some um, tips and tricks. Um, you know, if you have thin lips or, you know, your favorite way to make your lips look fuller, anything like that. Yeah, yeah, um, and then so before we jump into that, um, Pamela, yes, we'll be replaying this call. We'll um, post this link on our YouTube channel and you should get an email about it. Um, so no worries. You join late. People are still popping in. So um, we're happy you're here. <laughs> yes, we are. So if you do have thinner lips to answer your question, Katie, Hydra Pure Hyaluronic Lip Gloss is really the perfect product for you because it has plumping ingredients and then it also has the volume increasing ingredient from the collagen stimulating peptide. So it works immediately and over time with the hyaluronic acid. Um, and what you'll find is that this will help to minimize fine lines, but I've noticed that it makes my lips look bigger. I've noticed that my lines have kind of shrunk down a little bit around my lips, which is great. And I don't have um, feathering issues that I might with a traditional gloss. Exactly. I don't either, which is one of the reasons I dislike gloss, but not anymore. <laughs> not any, say no more. But not anymore. <laughs> um, but when it comes to uh, creating symmetry to the lips. So I have to say there are a couple of things to take into consideration. First of all, lip liners are going to be your best friend. Um, lip liners are kind of the easiest tool to help fake a lip when a lip isn't there. <laughs> and, um, a lighter shade is always going to make your lips look bigger. A okay. darker shade is going to make them look smaller. Got so it. I always caution people about that as well. That's why if you've ever seen, a lot of artists will use the trick of applying a highlighter right in the center of the lip. Right. That's because it creates an artificial volume. So um, that's what I can tell you as far as, as tips go. Now, the ideal look to the lip is an even top and bottom lip. Mm -hmm very rare to actually find the person who has that at yeah. least not, um, you know, with artificial yeah. enhancement, yeah. if you will. Yeah, I will. <laughs> so, um, using a lip pencil and I know, um, this is one of your favorites, but like our spice. So I have yes. kind of our, our nudes in front of me here, but our spice lip pencil, um, again, at least for fair tones, this is kind of your your great lineup for anyone who needs a nude. So for more of a medium skin type or skin tone, you would use nude. For a deeper skin tone, you would use cocoa. Um, and then for more fair tones, you would use spice. And all three of these are very universal. We also have lip pencils that come in an, a number of other shades, but these are gonna be kind of like your lip corrective um, pencils. So like your, your arsenal. Got yeah. it. Love that. Yeah, and they're not going to be as obvious. So um, I would recommend kind of um, creating almost like stiffening your your bottom or your upper lip. <laughs> I feel crazy doing it with you. Like. <laughs> it's hard to do while you're talking. Uh -huh. um, and then you can just really trail right underneath that line to create a little bit more volume. Now, our lip pencils, if you haven't tried them, are absolutely phenomenal. Oh, they're and, Oh, they're so good. And what I mean when I say that is that um, they have ingredients that are nourishing, like meadow foam. Um, you have some macadamia seed oil. You have shea butter. So these almost feel balmy as well. You don't yes. always even need something on top of them. Well, and that's what I was going to ask too a little bit later, but we might as well jump in now. So. I've seen so many trends online and, and on social where people contour their lips with a lip liner. Yes. Is that a thing? How do you feel about that? It's definitely a trend right now. That's mm -hmm. for sure. Um, if you are going to do that, I would recommend using a lip pencil that is slightly darker than your natural lips. Right. So 
Um, Katie and I just applied Spice, which is about the same shade as my lips. If I were going to contour, I would use something a little bit darker. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can even use a powder for that. But trailing around the outside of your lips will make your lips appear oh. lighter and brighter and thus Interesting. bigger. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Might but have to I go. know, Katie, <laughs> I can't wait. We have to go ahead and apply our lips. So um, I know. <laughs> Katie and I were, were determining what our favorite application would be for this. And mm -hmm. I decided that today I'm going to do a 90s lip because yes. it's a huge trend that's resurfacing and I think it will be fun. So yeah. I'm using our Coco Lip Pencil, which coincidentally is also a favorite eyeliner for me as well. The we'll have formula. to talk about that in another masterclass because I, my mind was blown when I learned that. So there's a lot, there's a lot to say. Yes, there is. <laughs> so I'm going to talk less and I'm going to apply more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that. I'm going to watch. Okay. So, and you start from the outside and go in. Interesting. I, I'm always curious how people apply their lip liner. I know some people start at the Cupid's bow and start at the center of their lips. Yeah, so um, if you are going to apply from the cupid's bow, mm -hmm. I would recommend, so starting at your cupid's bow mm -hmm. and making an X ooh, right across the top. And what that does is it helps you to create symmetry there. So you yeah. have a perfect um, cupid's bow. Wow. I'm just transfixed watching you. I was like, maybe I should keep talking, but it's just, it's just fun to watch. Cause I feel like I learned how to put on lip liner just from watching my mom. Cause she loves lip liner. It's her, one of her, her favorite thing. Mascara is her favorite beauty products, but uh, she never goes anywhere without a lip liner and a lipstick. Yeah, I gotta say but, lip liner is really resurfacing. Yeah. Yeah. So you can leave it like this and look crazy. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I just dropped a lip gloss. <laughs> or I'm actually, I'm going to add, let's see. So we ha I have Sakura here, which is a nice kind of like a, a really light peach. Yeah, or I think, a, your, I think a, a Sakura is kind of your signature. I do. I love Sakura. Yeah. But I think for today's purposes, I might do Molly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to fill this in with a little bit of Molly. It's going to enhance kind of that peachy brownie thing I have going on. Ooh, it just made it so dramatic. I love it. Look at that. And then just blend it out a little bit. So this is kind of that lip contouring effect that you were referring to earlier, Katie. Wow. It's very glam. I like that. So I was just sort of throwing on um, our lip liner in rose, which is my probably my second favorite. Spice is my very favorite. Awesome. And this one. And then I'm just going to put um, candied rose on top of that, which I love, I love this one. I don't even know if you can really pick up the color on my, my zoom, but it has a nice little bit of shimmer to it. Um, and I'm going to apply summer peach on top of this, just to enhance a little bit of the shimmer and give it that same kind of pretty light peachy look. Um, again, this applicator is so beautiful. It just, it bends and you can see, you know, it doesn't drag. It's so easy. I don't, I don't have a mirror. I'm using my computer screen. Uh, to, I mean, I do have a mirror. It made it sound like I don't have a mirror at all. <laughs> I live in a mirrorless home. Um, I wish that, that you could see this a little yeah. bit better, but it's just a really oh, pretty. It's so pretty. Nude. Yeah. Look at that. I dropped another lip gloss. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love it. It doesn't look like, um, gloppy if you will like there's not that sort of goop that that's associated with like a really lacquer heavy gloss but it just looks it's elevated it's elegant i i would uh, argue and um mm, it just feels so heavenly um and uh teresa i used oh she asked amy which liner did you use oh so i used our cocoa lip liner which is kind of like a, a deeper brown mm -hmm. uh and then our molly triple x lipstick and summer peach hydro pure lip gloss so it's just kind of a nice a nice um nude combination yes hi stephanie good to see you 
I love terracotta is one of my favorites as well. Oh, terracotta um, is just stunning on, so good. Yes, on absolutely um, everyone. It's another good peachy nude. Yes, exactly. And I'm wearing rose and uh, rose lip liner and candied rose hydro pure. Um, and let's see here. So let's actually, now we're talking about pairings. Let's just kind of jump right in um, there and we can kind of hop around with the, the rest of our uh, nutmeg. Another good one, Leanne. Um, so this is one of my favorite pairings. One of my recent favorite pairings is um, rose lip liner and candied rose hydro pure. But Amy, what are some of your other favorite pairings or what would you suggest? You know, we've talked about oh. Rose. What Such a hard question. It's like picking a favorite child. Um, <laughs> I have to say, I love, I love our spice pencil. This is definitely mm -hmm. always in my makeup bag. Love combining it with mocha latte for kind of like a great everyday lip. Mm -hmm. Um, Ellen is my favorite triple lux lipstick on just about anyone. It's just a yeah. nice warm red that just brightens every skin tone. Um, so love combining that either actually with blossom if I want it to be a little bit more cool or yeah. I combine it with spice peach if I want to warm it up a little bit. So you have okay. a lot of options there. Yeah. Um, let's see what other combos. I love terracotta as well. I like um, all of our kind of more orangey red shades that are yeah. not as popular. <laughs> but I, I mean, that. I feel like, yeah, I'm always going for, you know, a red or like a berry or something like that. Um, My absolute so, favorite is saucy or saucy I, lip crayon. And mine so, is, um, oops, I am dropping lip glosses left and right. I'm just too excited. There are um, 13 of them. They're hard yeah, to control. Exactly. My favorite is actually um, naughty. <laughs> Of course, Which I do feel silly saying, but it's so beautiful. <laughs> um, and I'm always surprised, at, you know, it looks a little bit intimidating, but it goes on so creamily and beautifully. Um, so I love that one. But um, so we did we did get some questions about beyond matte lips. So let's say, for, for example, a color like infatuation, would you suggest wearing a lip pencil with that or is it fine on its own? Oh, we struggle a little bit with this one because um, the Beyond Matte Lip Fixation, so their main function is to do one pass that lasts, and they're really right. effective at that. So you apply one pass with the doe foot applicator, and it lasts for hours. Now, if you pair that with something under it, there are chances that it could lift and same with applying a gloss on top. Right. So right. I would say, you know, if you do want your lips to feel a little bit more hydrated, if you want that gloss effect on top, try it out, but just know that you may not have the same longevity that you would by wearing it alone. So if you're wearing like a mask all day or anything say. like that, I would wear it by itself. Got it. That's a great tip. So try it at home, maybe try it for a zoom and then on mat on its own if you have to go out and about with a mask. Um, that's great. So we talked through that and uh, we briefly have chatted through our, um, our forevers, as I like to call them. Uh, I, I like to sort of give it a, a little bit of drama, but um, we talked through forever red and, and pairings. Would you say forever pink, you'd want to stay in kind of a pink, maybe a blossom or what would you say would work well with yeah, that? Yeah, I mean, so again, it depends on if you want to enhance that pink shape. Mm -hmm. or if you want to neutralize it with something else. So you kind of have a, a lot of great options. I love uh, the traditional pairing of using something like a blossom. Yeah. But I also really love pairing it with, you know, something that's a little bit more on the warm side to give it more of like a neutral nude effect. Mm -hmm. So um, lots of great options. And I loved the question earlier about pairing it with Aura because it, again, Damn. really fits in kind of that mid range where yeah. you could go either way. Exactly, exactly. Um, and uh, a sort of a specific question, but what would you suggest, let's say you've got a fresh, no makeup, makeup look, you sort of hit on this, um, but what lip color, maybe Hydro Pure or across the line would you suggest for sort of a fresh face look? So um, any of the Hydro Pure glosses would work well with that uh, mm -hmm. because again, they're very sheer. If you want a true no makeup, makeup look, I would recommend going with um, something like Snowberry, Summer Peach, or Mocha Latte. I know we keep talking about those, but they're going to yeah. be kind of, love mocha and also latte. sheer. These are going to yeah. be kind of your main, you know, no makeup makeup staples in this collection, Good. as well as Pink Glossé. Um, and then 
Lip drink would be a great combination. It's my favorite, yes. no makeup, makeup product. Um, it's what I wear to the pool with my kids. And the SPF, um, we love that. Yeah. Or even just one of our lip pencils on its own, like our spice mm -hmm. lip pencil or nutmeg or noon, depending on or cocoa, depending on your shade. Great. Let's see here. Um, we've hit most of our questions, um, but I did want to mention, you mentioned Pink Glossé. And um, if you haven't heard for the month of October, um, we are giving 100% of the proceeds from the sale of Pink Glossé to the organization Look Good, Feel Better which is an amazing, amazing organization. Um, Amy just did a live with them on our Instagram um, last week, I think. So if you missed that, head to our Instagram and check that out. Um, actually, you have it just out of reach, but it's a beautiful sheer pink shade. I don't know if, if you want to speak to that a little bit, but it's such a yeah. gorgeous product. Yeah, so Look Good, Feel Better, just to elaborate a little bit, is an organization that helps um, women who are undergoing cancer treatment with some of the... Um, the uh, image related issues that they experience. So things like hair loss, brow loss, mm -hmm. eyelash loss, skin changes, um, weight gain and loss, clothing changes, things like that. Um, and so they actually teach workshops for yeah. uh, women who are undergoing um, cancer treatment. Pink Gloss Say is one of our top selling shades. It is more of a, um, a peachy pink that has just the perfect amount of sparkle to it. And the reason that we chose it for this purpose is because it's a great universal shade. It works on every skin tone. It's absolutely stunning. Um, I know Katie just put the link to check it out in the chat below, but please um, take a look, keeping in mind that as Katie said, 100% of the proceeds do go to look good, feel better. Um, and it also comes in a really beautiful blush box yes. that's specific to um, to this cause that when they're gone, they're gone. So it's a limited exactly. edition product that we're offering as well. Yes. And so again, same formula, just, go, just gorgeous. Um, and we did get one, one other question from, uh, jo Joanna, Johanna, I'm not sure which way it's pronounced, but uh, she said, I'm not familiar with the lip crayons. Are they more like a lipstick? So the lip crayons are kind of a combination of a lip pencil, a lipstick, and a gloss in one. Um, you do need one of our sharpeners with them, um, but they have a lot of pigment to them, but they're also a little bit glossy and balmy. Mm -hmm. is how and I brought, I'm, I'm sort of, I'm somewhat prepared. I've got the lip crayon and the sharpener, but I like to gloss <laughs> it over there. So between us, we're, we're covering it all. We have it all taken under control. Exactly. Um, we have exactly. it all under control. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and the last thing I wanted to mention, um, but please, if, if anyone has other questions, feel free to submit them, is um, we talked a little bit about holiday, but I wanted to call out our beautiful holiday glosses. I have mine on my display shelf here. I just got mine in. I actually haven't tried them yet. I was so excited. I wanted to wait to, to, so we could look at them together. Um, but I'm trying I'm to make glasses now. So yeah. uh, oh, look at those. These three are, they're smaller versions of our Hydropure lip gloss. Um, these are the three new shades that we launched um, with a little bit of an addition. So uh, you have Lambrusco, which is our berry red with a little bit of shimmer to it. Mm -hmm. You have Bubbly, which is sheer with a little shimmer. And then you have Cassis. Obviously, we had some fun with these names, which is uh, our tourmaline with a little bit of shimmer. Yes. So they're a smaller size. They're really easy to access, um, but they're just so stunning. And then they come in this great giftable box. Exactly. Which is really Perfect. exciting. Exactly. I always say they're perfect for gifting, you know, a friend, a loved one, or yourself. The best gift of all, the one you give yourself. <laughs> I'm kidding. But um, anyway, well, if there are no other questions or curiosities or anything else, we will let you all head out and enjoy your evening, your afternoon, your, your day. And uh, Amy, thank you so much for, for joining me. This was really a, a pleasure. Katie, thank you for having me. There's nothing I love more than talking lip gloss with you. Um, thank you. <laughs> thank you.